Welcome, Talk Family, and thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Talk the Talk. I'm your host, I'm Dish Belay Bechen, and joining me today is Bashada, and she is the Fleet Sales Executive at Star Nissan Verenigung. Now, Bashada can be described as beautiful, intelligent, and a true inspiration to other women in the industry. She's also the nominee for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards 2023 and she's so (laughs) excited about this. She's put in a lot of perseverance and hard work to have achieved what she has. Um, It's an absolute honor to have her here today. So without further ado, let's welcome Bashada. And as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Sariti Solutions, MFC and Evo by NetBank. Hello Bashada. Good morning. (laughs) How are you? I'm well, thank you. So Bashada, you are a super fan. (laughs) (laughs) I just found out that you are a super fan. Thank you. Uh, I only have, I never even knew I had a fan. Today I am so blessed to have a super fan (laughs) thank you so much for your support Bashada thank you for following us thank you for reaching out to us Um, and I think as I said that is why we have nominated you because it's women like you that we need in our movement Mm -hmm. our movement to inspire our movement to uplift women so thank Mm -hmm. you so much we are humbled and I'm thank you much, much grateful for the opportunity. Ah, oh, you're welcome. So let's talk about your journey in the motoring trade. Well, um, I started as a rental sales agent about mm-hmm. 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And first of all, I would like to greet our listeners and our viewers and all our women out there, mm-hmm. women in power in the motor industry. Thank you so much. Um, I started as a rental sales agent. Um, 20 years ago at a remarkable, reputable company Mm -hmm. and from there multiple positions and after COVID I ended up at another dealership which was an amazing opportunity Mm -hmm. because of traveling I then decided to join our group in Star Nissan in Furyanakan. I must say it is amazing, it's it's an amazing opportunity to be in the motor industry. Um, I've gained a lot of experience in terms of customer care, Mm -hmm. customer satisfaction. What brings out a lot is just to see the joy. You interact, I deal a lot with fleet, Mm -hmm. so you need to make a conclusive, informed decision, not only for the organization, but for the other organization as well. So it's not just a sale that's happening, you need to consult. Mm -hmm. So with that experience from my previous um, company to now, I must say it really helped a lot. So to overcome that and to, 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 you know, to, to close that sale. Yeah. So you're basically consulting mm-hmm. with, the, with, with one of the directors or one of the FC, mm-hmm. FC, FCOs or any other sales director for that matter. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's been more than 20 years for you in our trade, right? Yes. Has it been an amazing 20 years? <laughs> Absolutely. Look, it's got its days mm-hmm. when you want to husa. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, again, the standard is still the same. Yeah. It's customer service. Absolutely. We are fueled by power, by passion. Mm-hmm. Um, customer service. Loved by your word, loved by your promise, what you promise out there, deliver. Yes, absolutely. So, obviously you are so passionate about our movement. Yes. Uh, How do you feel about this this movement highlighting women in the motoring trade? This is an amazing platform. I can see that passion. I can see that you just want to talk about (laughs) it. I just want to talk about it. (laughs) Go for it. When I started um, engaging more about talk, talk the talk, and Sariti, Ava, MFC. It got to it daunted that this is an amazing platform mm-hmm. for a lot of women out there who don't have this opportunity to talk and say what is it like to be in the motor industry, mm-hmm. what are the issues that you are facing, what are the challenges that you are facing on. So the movement itself, I mean, powered by Sariti, powered by MFC. It's an amazing movement. Oh, thank we you. are honored, we are humbled 
us as women mm -hmm. to be part of this journey. Uh, thank you, thank Dash. You. And also for creating the content and to put in the extra, you know, to listen to the women in the industry. Uh, thank so, you. Yes. You're welcome. It's, it's, all, it's my pleasure. Yeah. And it's, it's an honor to meet women like you. Thank you. Um, just a question, a curveball question. If you could love <laughs> anywhere in the world, where would it be? <laughs> and why? Um, I'm, come from, I'm from a family of, we love traveling. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm very family orientated. Mm -hmm. I love good balance between work. It is possible mm -hmm. in the Absolutely. industry. Work, a working mom, a um, wife and also with family. We love traveling. We love nature. Mm -hmm. We love Kruger Park. So yeah, I will definitely, wanna, I would say South Africa. Ah, yeah. <laughs> good answer. We celebrate Women's Day. We said not only the day we went as far as celebrating Women's Month, mm -hmm. we celebrate many situations surrounding all about women. Mm -hmm. So yes, my answer is definitely South Africa. Aww. It's beautiful. Yeah. There's a lot of room for diversity. We celebrate our heritage days mm -hmm. where we can wear, dress our different. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a beautiful country. Absolutely. Yes. Um, what motivates you to work? so hard Bashada. i mean being in fleet sales yes. is not an easy uh, game to be in it's, it's, <laughs> it's difficult but what makes you uh, so good at what you do first of all when i step into this position where i am right now mm -hmm. i had to change i had to have a quick mindset on the issue of closing a sale mm -hmm. it's not your everyday quickly you know closing a sale you consult constantly with your fleet customer. Mm. So you have to make sure that you know good product knowledge. You have to make sure you know your customer's needs. I'm talking about the companies. I'll go back again what I've said earlier. Mm -hmm. Who you're engaging with. Mm -hmm. So what excites me is all the hard work that I put in and like, you know, the comparisons, we call it the TCO, total mm -hmm. cost of ownership. All the hard work that you put in to make the owner and also the sales director's responsibility much less to under, okay, this is what you're saying, mm -hmm. and, you know, comparing the specs. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier for them to make an informed decision. Okay. So, executive, yes, but more consulting, you're consulting and you're talking. Mm -hmm. So that is what inspires me. Okay, about. and yes. it's, as you said, you can balance it all, be a mom. Yes. Yes. Be a wife. Yes. And also be a businesswoman. Or uh, be in the you know, in the career space. Yes. How do you keep a mental state of mind or how do you keep a positive, healthy mental <laughs> state of mind? I read a lot mm -hmm. in my free time. I hosa a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and when I experience um, tension at work, whether it's customer tension, whether it's an email that just got in, always just wait five minutes before you mm -hmm. respond. Um, I keep a mental state by reading a lot. I go out fresh air, it's important. I go on traveling just to go and recoup, recoup again and then come back again to reality. Yeah. And then I'm constantly interacting and I'm always aware, awake. I always create awareness of awareness of myself first, my inner happiness. Mm -hmm. I need to bring out the best of me first within me because I just feel that my family deserves the best of me. Absolutely. So I need to practice that constantly. Have my moment of husa and breathe and then, you know, and because they must remember they draw strength from us as yes, women, our absolutely. especially our children. So you cannot be falling when a wind comes. You must be like a Absolutely. palm tree. You have to stand still and give them that. My that palm confidence. tree doesn't stand still, by the way. <laughs> 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 you have to give them that confidence. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah. Bashada, what changes? I mean, you've been here for so long, over 20 years. Yes. And I'm sure you've seen the transformation. Yes. Um, and women coming to the forefront, moving up the ranks, and yes. it's beautiful. But what other changes would you like to see in the motoring industry? I would really love to see women encourage each other more and support one another more and more. Mm -hmm. And be vocal, speak mm -hmm. up. It is possible. You know, I'm talking to the ladies, the, 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 our graduates that stay in the rural areas who thinks this is the end of it, it's not the end of it. You can come, start as a, 
is at the wash bay. Yep. Then you start at go to the receptionist. Yeah, reception. You can then start taking courses, F and I. Then you can start sales exam. There's so many different divisions that you can go into into yes. the industry. Yes. So the change that I would like to see is to start off obviously with yourself, the women out there, have the confidence. Don't just settle for what you know because that's we cannot do the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Change and you know change is good sometimes. Mm -hmm. So go out there, be innovative, find innovative ideas, to constantly find change. These are the type of change and opportunities and I mean, uh, platforms like Talk the Talk are there to assist us, to help us to make this type of changes. Absolutely. And Absolutely. this type of platform, so yes. Have you faced any discrimination? And um, I can't imagine you facing discrimination. <laughs> she sounds so soft-spoken here, but trust me, <laughs> off air she isn't. Um, but if you haven't faced yes. any discrimination, how would you advise our listeners to uh, react to the discrimination, oh, gender advice, discrimination, obviously. I've never been discriminated, isms or whatever, you know, but I have witnessed a lot of discrimination. Wow. And I have encouraged a lot of women oh. that was in those positions, speak up, yes. be vocal. Yes. But it has to start again with yourself. Mm -hmm. Respect yourself and demand respect. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to talk down on you. Mm -hmm. And nobody's going to talk to you as if you don't understand. And yeah, so. Right. I love that. So yes. it's so important that not just I sit here and try to reach 100 people, 200 yeah. people at a time, um, you mm -hmm. know, to heed what we're saying in terms yes. of speak up. Yes. speak up and, it's, and and you are that champion to um, go out there and also be a voice yes you know, that's important that snowball effect yes. that ripple effect of what I'm doing for you to take the message back and be mm -hmm. active in terms of um, uplifting and empowering other Definitely. women so thank you so much I just want to say Thank you, Bashada, again, Thank for, <laughs> for reaching out to us and for becoming a part of this movement. We really appreciate you. We are very, very humbled, number mm -hmm. one. We really love the show and we love the history also behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good that's going to come out of the whole movement and a lot of opportunities. There has been already, mm -hmm. looking at all the past, you know, I mean, like I said, I told you that I am a fan. The past uh, videos and the past interactions that you had with other major stakeholders and other dealerships and other companies. So, yes, it is a good, good platform. So, thank you, Talk the Talk. It is, thank you, Dash. Thank you for sharing this opportunity with us. Aww. You are, you don't know it, but you are really making a huge impact on a lot of people's lives, knowingly and unknowingly. So the ladies that's out there, I will encourage you, support one another, join Talk the Talk, be on the show, be there, be, be out there and make your mark, mark your territory. We are not, we are, we are very, very unique people and love ourselves. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> She's hired, she is my new spokesperson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you thank you so very much i really really appreciate thank you thank you so much viewers we would like to thank you for your continued support and encourage you to like and share our content our non-profit companies the motoring woman of the year awards powered by mfc and evo by netbank and the talk the talk studios sponsored by seriti solutions and evo by netbank are platforms aimed at empowering, uplifting and celebrating the women of motoring South Africa. We are not just telling stories, we are changing lives. If you are searching for a new or pre-owned vehicle, please visit www.auto.evo.africa. We have a wide range of vehicles on sale for you to choose from and we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal 
is user friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews, car maintenance tips and automotive advice all courtesy of Talk the Talk Studios. <laughs> so ladies, you're right, um, I'm normally not praised that much but I really really appreciate it and I, these are the women that um, we really look forward um, to entertaining and to, uh, or, or to welcoming onto our platform because the more women that can identify what this platform is all about, the more women will start campaigning and championing and spreading yes. that word. So I just want to leave you with a, a quote today, education breeds confidence, mm -hmm. confidence breeds hope and hope breeds peace. Wow. Ladies, success will not come tomorrow unless you start today. Yes. Meaning success won't just fall into your lap. You have to start working towards your success. You have to put in the time, effort, hard work and perseverance in order for you to enjoy success. You can't walk into a company um, today expecting to be top of the ladder. You haven't even started at the bottom with the first step, so start there. Everyone has dreams, but how many are willing to stake their life to fulfill their dreams? That's the question. Mm -hmm. And with that, I would like to remind you that the question should never be, who's going to let me? It should always be, who's going mm -hmm. to stop me? I should let her say it. It all should always be, who's going to stop me? There we go. <laughs> Super fan. <laughs> <laughs>